Hello guys, welcome back. This is a title domination um, challenge. End of the second season now. Quite a bit to tell you. I mean, it's going to be a long update, so I'm just going to go straight into it. I mean, I don't want you. I don't really like doing videos really long. I mean, I know it's a chore to watch, and you guys just want it fast. Don't know how I'm doing. You want updates? So let's go straight into it. League Cup final there. Another League Cup trophy added to the collection. I mean, that's two now. We went last year. Uh, Sunderland, as I said the last update, they give us a game. They they pushed us. I mean, this was never ever certain apart from it, as soon as uh, they missed that second penalty. But wow, it was a close one. I mean, we the, we both had numerous chances, just none of us really took them. So it was a case of just holding out. And Walcott injured at that point. We were that was when our attacking just stopped, and we were just getting defeat. We had to defend for our lives. So, just getting it, just getting it into penalties was a fucking sh wow. It was, it was lucky. So <laughs> to go and then win it in penalties is just really, really good. I mean, I know we have won this trophy, it doesn't really matter as much, but you know, it's another one to add, and it just gets my reputation up. So if a job comes, I don't know Real Madrid or Barcelona, I can just I can apply for the job, and they're going to consider me more as I've won more trophies. So that was a really nice one to add to the collection. Tough game, tough game but it just makes the victory even better. Next we have the FA Cup quarter final where unfortunately this season we did get knocked out by Man City. Gary Gleeshi of all people in the 72nd minute. Gary Gleeshi sorry. Who I did, I, th I think he used to play for Arsenal. Might be right in saying he played for Arsenal. So maybe that's karma for selling him. Well I didn't sell him but for Wenger selling him. I don't know but I wasn't really that bothered. I mean, it got to this point in the season where I was in the FA Cup and I, I, I could do without it. I mean, I, could, I needed to be out of cups. And this, the League Cup ending kind of did light in the load, but I needed to be out more. I mean, the players were just tired. I had to put players in that weren't exactly who I wanted to be there. I mean, Van Persie was playing midfield for a bit because I had some injuries and I didn't have enough. I didn't have the backup to be able to produce a team that I was satisfied with. So, yeah, this is more of a godsend than a loss. So I'm, I'm just not going to take the heart. I mean, this, this, this helped out the rest of the season. The way I look at this, I mean, getting knocked out by these made the rest of our season easier to do what we accomplished. So we'll, we'll forget about that one. I mean, yep, yeah, of course I didn't win the, ta the, the the trophy again, but it's fine. We went on to better things. Next is the Euro Cup second round leg two. I just want to point out, Werder Bremen, who are probably one of the better German teams, we beat them 7-3 on aggregate. I mean, this just shows, we are, I'm trying to make the Emirates a kind of fortress, and I want to be just hammering, hammering teams, and this proves that I'm nearly there. Schumach doesn't start for me. He is not one of my first choice strikers. So for him to score a hat-trick in a game that he had to play just because of, uh, people were tired, is amazing. I mean, it shows that I probably should start considering more towards uh, maybe giving him some more games, some more game time. He clearly is capable of performing at this level. So, especially him, them, them, them through the guys who are playing up front. So, Banzuki and Shamak obviously have a partnership together, which is really, really good. So, I'm gonna have to, especially going to the next season, the new season, I'm gonna have to think about getting those guys together and just seeing how many games I can play them three. I'm going to try and make two two striking partnerships and just alternate between them when I need them and maybe pick and choose players and try to blend again but 7-3 on aggregate is ridiculous and if anyone disagrees with that then I don't know what you're talking about cause, wow come on. Um, we'll go to the next one Kaiser Slaughton who if you remember from the last one they did beat Manchester United and I thought it was going to be an easy game for them and to be honest, we beat them comfortably. So the fact that Man United struggled and got hammered kind of makes me think that maybe, no, maybe, maybe yeah, we are probably one of the better English teams. So that was really good. Obviously, the scoreline isn't great compared to the last one where it was an absolute hammering, but we played well. Though we never looked in doubt. They, we never actually gave them any chances. I mean, they were restricted, which is really, really good. It means the type of football I wanted them to play. So. 4-0 there in the semi-final. We did go on to win the second leg, but it wasn't by it wasn't a good game. I mean, we struggled. We we beat we beat them 2-0, but we struggled. 
So next week we're going on to read that guys. Euro Cup, European Cup one down. Sorted. I know about the game. Olympic Marseille. Manzuki and Fierro, both my signings scored. Comfortable, comfortable. It wasn't a game where we went out there and just got two quick goals and then defended. It was a game that we steadily, steadily attacked. Steadily defended, got a goal. Maybe dropped back a bit and started pushing again. It was just a nice, nice game. And that was the kind of football we w I want to be playing in Europe because we can't afford to be all going all out as we do in the Premiership just because the team's a better year so 2-0 comfortable 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 no complaints we'll take that one off the domination um, list and we'll move on to the next slide and here we go Premier Vision 4-1 this was May this was one of the last games I basically point this one out because Ch Chelsea are probably one of the most dominating teams in there we fucking destroyed them 4-1 again at the Emirates this thing is, is the Emirates is becoming a place where people just do not like to visit on this game. They see the Emirates and they panic. They see that. And I think that's really, really good. I'm hoping that we can carry this across. Because if we can carry this across into the next few seasons, well, I don't know how many seasons I'm going to be here, but maybe next season, because I, will want, I would do want to stay another season. So, if I can carry that across the next season, then I think we can we can, we can, can win everything. If the, the draws in the Cups go, for us, go right for us, we can win everything. So that is that is really really nice. Um, so yeah, four one. I did, um, I was going to concede that goal. I mean, we, they didn't deserve it. It was a fucking. It was just one of those times where it's like red, 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 blue goal. Damn it, red. <laughs> so you know, it happens. It happens. But four one still a really good result. So that's that game over. Arsenal win the league, and this is the thing. We were behind and we came back and we got kept getting like results. Um. I'll show you the league now. It's a lot. It's not even close. Like four points does it is just seem close, but they were ne we were never in any doubt to be honest with you, because we just we only lost four games all season, so we were keeping it quite tight. But we were never in doubt. We just kept on just just kept playing the football we had to play. And I did say as you can see, Tottenham fourth, so they have dropped down considerably amount, and we got eight points. So we were, I think we were two points behind them. So from mid-season we've gained 10 points on them, which I think is really, really good. Cause Tottenham are, are not a team to be underrated. So that is the league. Um, not much more to tell you about the league, honestly. I mean, it was a nice win. Take that one off the title domination. I do want to stay with another season just because I think this is the best chance I've got of winning the Champions League. And then obviously I can go across, maybe go into Scotland first, or maybe go to Spain. But yeah, so that's another one I'd off. Uh, the title is won. And here is the fucking average rating. Blah, 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 I can't talk then. Swear, swearing, right? I just want to point this one out. Swearing does kind of fill gaps. The gap filler. So, <laughs> just keep that in mind next time you talk to someone. Uh, yeah. First, second, fourth, fifth, eighth, tenth. And that's us as well, right? Uh, eleventh uh, below João Moutinho. So, that just shows once again domination we dominated the league we were playing teams off the park the ratings prove that nothing much more to say about this slide but the slide kind of speaks for itself and what's it, what is interesting is that I have already started the, the next like season and I just want to say it's David De Gea people actually approach him and they accept offers so he is their best player all season, average rating, and they're accepting offers for him. Which kind of shows the kind of quality Man United are happening at the moment and what is going on in that club. So that is interesting to see. Um, next we will go on to this. Which is, Adam Lazenby of Arsenal has won the English Premier Manager of the Year award. Pfft, I deserve it. <laughs> Big heavy, I deserve it. I mean, we've been playing well all season. We never, ever looked as if we were going to get hammered by a team which is I think is really really good we stuck in there at every game and even if we went behind we did more, a few games we have went from 2-0 down to 3-2 up and it just proved that I have made a fighting team so that that that, just, that shows that my dedication and the high rate I'm putting in the team is paying off and I think this will hopefully get it so other big clubs will want me as their manager 
there is the news feed accolade for Layers and B. I was kind of shocked to get it to be honest with you. Uh, I never normally win things like this on these games, so it was just nice to get get it. Um, so there's another thing that we won. Another thing Arsenal won, yeah. Next slide. Arsenal's Mario Mandzukic, Player of the Year, Ruh -ruh, Robin Van Persie. Two Arsenal boys there. <laughs> Player of the Year. Keep that in mind. Next slide. Here is the Young Player of the Year, Carlos Fierro, Oxlade Chamberlain. Both of Arsenal. This just proves that we dominated and our players were just um, like our players we have the top quality players in our squad this is the kind of thing that I think sh gives me the sh lets me know that I'm making this I'm building a good team and these kind of things especially happened last year as well we won both of these things last year not one and two but we did get one I think we got one and two on one of the um, cups but still this just shows that we are we are going for it and I'm going to be reluctant to leave when I have to leave but obviously I want to do this title nomination thing I may just maybe branch off this and I may have to do two alongside each other or just keep this save I might keep my Arsenal save and then move on to the other leagues and after I complete the league come back to Arsenal and maybe just, con just do a little do a little like, sl slide off this one like off this off this series after the end of it and then just just until FMH 13 comes out you know slide just slide back into this Arsenal game I mean I'm really enjoying it there's no need I can just keep it back and then go back into it so that is the end of it this is that's the end of the second season I, I Champions League is what I want next season that is that's the goal League I am bothered about but not as much if I qualify for the Champions League again so if I leave the end of the season the next manager has got the Champions League then I'm happy but Champions League is the goal guys so this is me signing off LEFC Lazza hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're following it we're playing really really well let's just hope next season the Champions League will have Arsenal's day on it right cheers guys thanks for watching hope you watch the next videos and stay safe, I'll see you all later.